Hello Taurus, welcome to another reading. This is all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time, the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Taurus regarding love. What's going on for Taurus in love at this time, spirit? What's going on for Taurus? What's going on in this connection between Taurus and their person? Five of Wands. Wow, okay. What's going on for Taurus and their person at this time? So what's going on? The Sun reversed. So things are not looking so great in this connection at this time. There could be a feeling of no progress or very little progress or just this feeling of being like stuck. You can't get past a certain hurdle or for some reason there's fighting back and forth the sun reverse and then I have the world reverse so I feel like there's something that perhaps um, is just not closing out here or not being fixed well why is the sun reverse though the sun reverse for me is something that is hidden a lack of clarity unhappiness someone could just be unhappy here and I say someone because this is what's going on in your connection right now so we both of your energies are here tell me about the sun reverse why is the sun reverse temperance reverse sagittarius energy so temperance reverse means there's still something that needs to be brought into balance either more time is needed more patience is needed more energy is needed to bring something into balance someone could also be getting um impatient you know, is out of balance here. Tell me about the sun reverse. Oh, that one just came right out. Ten of swords. Two of pentacles. I'm just going to look at these. I'm going to put them back, but I want to look at them. Two of pentacles. Four of cups. Yeah, someone's definitely not happy here. Six of swords. Um, King of swords reverse, definitely. And nine of wands. Yeah. So there's like, um, like a lack of trust. There's possibly um, verbal conflict might even be deception someone's kind of debating i feel whether to leave or stay so this is going to be kind of a specific reading i feel and every time that i do a taurus reading something like this happens where taurus in particular is dealing with a difficult situation and is making a big move in their life that's been a common theme in taurus readings in the past few months so I feel like there, this this could uh, this connection could be reaching some sort of ending, or one of you is going through some sort of change in your life that is affecting your connection. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about? Seven of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Five of Wands about. The world reverse again so i feel like there's um there's no longer an illusion here with the seven of cups reverse maybe someone's seeing the situation very clearly um i'm also getting with the world reverse and the seven of cups reverse like maybe someone made the wrong choice at some point and now they're kind of in this situation because the seven of cups reverse for me as a reader sometimes could be can mean the wrong choice was made you know you didn't see the illusion for what it was or you didn't see what was right in front of you or you couldn't see it maybe your judgment was blocked or you weren't aware of certain things and you chose the wrong cup but this world reverse is almost like once again, there's no progression. I feel like there's no movement forward. Instead, someone's stuck in a cycle. This is how I'm seeing this. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords reverse. And what's behind that? And the Hermit. So I feel like someone's um, doing a little bit of soul searching here, overcoming their fear. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Um, someone that is um, doing a lot of thinking and planning. And, you know, the more they think about something, the more the or the more they think about something, the less it affects them, perhaps here. 
There could have been a lot of fear and anxiety about the fact that something wasn't coming together or the fact that there's an ending here that I feel needs to take place but hasn't because I have the Ten of Swords and the World Reverse. Tell me about the World Reverse and the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the World Reverse and the Ten of Swords. Wow, Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Well, the Ace of Cups is a card about new abundance. Um, an offer or a gift or a new beginning that is very emotionally fulfilling. It symbolizes love as well. New love. So I'm seeing this in a few ways. Um, Taurus at this time I'm gonna obviously get more info when I clarify your energies but I feel like there's there's the potential here for something new but something is in the way so I don't know if it's a third party or I don't know if it's the fact that maybe there's a lot of love in a connection but no actual progression forward we'll see what this is about and then of course I have the devil here so I cannot ignore this energy it could be that someone is trapped attached there's an unhealthy uh, energy surrounding this ace of cups or um you know one has to be traded for the other one has to be let go for the other one to happen or to take place so let's see um how you're feeling about each other or what your energies are now i'm going to have you on one side taurus and your person on the other but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you Spirit, tell me more about Taurus and their person. Tell me more about Taurus and their person. What is Taurus? Where's the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection? The energy that Taurus is bringing to this burning passion. The chemistry is off the chart. Passion, intimacy, chemistry. Okay, what about the person that Taurus is dealing with? What about the person? Okay, my deck really wants to talk to them. What about the person that Taurus is dealing with? What do we need to know about their energies? Cold shoulder and breathe in. Okay, so mm, right away I'm getting like silence. Um, quiet. Someone thinking but very distant. Bottom of the deck I have wedding bells. Can I get one more for Taurus? Tell me one more, please, for Taurus. What's going on here? What is Taurus's energy? Okay, that's way too many. Way too many. I knew this deck was going to give me some issues. <laughs> Tell me about Taurus. Spirit, can I get one more energy for Taurus? One more energy for Taurus. Lasting promise. Commitment, longevity, future. So Taurus, you might be in a long-term commitment. Or that is a problem here. Bottom of the deck, wedding bells. Yep. So this might be an issue um, in a way because... Actually, I want to use this one. My secret moon oracle deck. Tell me more for Taurus and this other person. But I feel like even though you might be in a long-term commitment, you're passionate about something else or attracted to something else here. Or perhaps you're attracted to someone who's married as well. We'll see. Tell me more. Tell me more for Taurus. Tell me more for Taurus. What do we need to know about Taurus? The energy they bring to this connection. What are they thinking and feeling here? I still check up on you. So you might be keeping tabs on this person, Taurus, in some way. Maybe social media. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Expect a message. You are my soulmate at the bottom of the deck. This person might want to tell you something um, regarding uh, how they feel because I feel like they haven't really done that because I, I got like silent energy. Like there's no communication between you and this person. I was going to use a different deck, but I want to use the same deck here. So just bear with me while I clean this up. Can have some room okay let's find out tell me more about Taurus and this person spirit 
tell me more about Taurus and this person that they're dealing with. What is Taurus's energies in this connection? What are Taurus's energies? What are Taurus's energies in this connection? Ace of Swords reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Interesting. Death reverse at the bottom of the deck. Again, Scorpio energy here. This, this, okay, three of swords after that. There's like um like a theme here of something that's like supposed to end but hasn't, or maybe someone doesn't want something to end. Six of Swords reverse. I feel like there's a stuck energy here, like someone's not able to leave or is delayed, prevented from leaving. Why is the Six of Swords? reverse yeah the chariot reverse cancer energy someone's unable to leave and this is on your side taurus and there's the five of cups there's regrets sadness disappointment so either you're the one that's unable to leave right and you're sad about that or your person can't leave their situation and you're sad about that it's one of those i feel like you feel stuck here Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. This is reminding me of the Sun reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Five of Swords reverse. So this is like overcoming a conflict, resolving a conflict here with the Five of Swords reverse. And with the Eight of Pentacles, Okay, but then there's judgment reverse at the bottom of the deck. With the Eight of Pentacles, I was going to say, this is someone that's working hard on resolving a conflict. But then I have judgment reverse that came out, and I have Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been deception here with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords reversed. Or um, a verbal conflict that perhaps is still a problem. Um, Taurus, some of you might not be able to leave a situation or feel like you can't leave a situation because it might cause problems. So maybe you need to sneak away. But I think this would be a mistake if that's what you're thinking because I have judgment reversed. I think... Okay, so I'm seeing that... Uh, by the way, I just I feel like I'm reading for different Taurus. For different Taurus groups. You know, like a group of you are dealing with something and a group of, of others of you are dealing with something different. I think... You know, if this was a situation where someone lied to you, that's a bad judgment call. They messed up. If this is a situation where you feel like you need to sneak away from something because you're kind of tired of it and you feel stuck, so you're trying to be strategic, this might not be the best course of action. Maybe you need to do to try a more direct approach. I get one more energy, one more overall energy for Taurus. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection spirit? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Seven of Pentacles reverse. So you kind of feel like you have waited a long time for something that hasn't happened. Maybe you invested in the wrong thing and it didn't grow, it didn't work out, or you feel like you have wasted your time and energy on something that didn't pan out for you. And then I have the Knight of Cups reverse. So I feel like this has been painful for you, heartbreaking for you. Maybe you feel like it's too late. So let's look at your person. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Taurus is in? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Taurus or this connection? Well, we have strength reverse, Leo energy. What are their thoughts, energies towards Taurus or this connection? We have judgment reversed. I feel like you're both marrying each other in a way here. Temperance reverse, yeah. 
Sagittarius energy there with Temperance Reverse. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like you're mirroring each other. You know, if you've made mistakes in your life or, you know, it could also be that this is the person that lied to you. And that's why Judgment Reverse is here. Knight of Cups is here. They, they hurt you. Take it as it resonates towards. Because again, I feel like I'm reading for two different groups of you. And I think still that there's some sort of long-term commitment in the way here. That's almost like a block. You know, it's either someone's unable to commit to you long-term or there is someone already in a long-term connection. But I feel here the energy that I'm seeing is someone that's really not doing well. This is somebody that they're, they're not able to bring something into balance with temperance reverse. Their judgment is blocked. Maybe they're not seeing something clearly or they made a huge mistake. You know, their strength is zapped. You know, this person doesn't have courage or isn't able to bring balance or control to a situation. Tell me about strength and temperance. Tell me about strength and temperance. Spirit wise, strength and temperance here. Page of Swords. So perhaps they want to. Um, Maybe what it would take to fix this or bring this back into balance is to talk, to be honest about something here. But I don't think they're doing it because I have the cold shoulder card and the breathe in card. And the cards that inspired those two cards is the five of pentacles and the four of swords. So I feel like this is somebody that's out in the cold and isn't communicating, isn't doing anything. So let's see why the page of swords. What's this about? Why is the Page of Swords here? Knight of Cups Reverse. There's the Nine of Wands. Yeah. And the Queen of Cups Reverse. Yeah. They they disappointed you bad. I feel like they broke your heart or they're heartbroken over their own decisions. There's a lack of trust here with the Nine of Wands or just a feeling of being tired and worn out emotionally perhaps here. Why is judgment reverse? Ooh, that one just came right out. Knight of Wands. Oh, okay. Why is judgment reverse? This person jumped into something without thinking. Why is judgment reverse? King of Pentacles reverse. Yep. This person did something without thinking, literally. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And now they're unhappy or, or, or just not not all there emotionally not dealing well with their own decision i think they wish they could talk to you but for some reason they can't hear yeah ten of cups reverse so this person i feel they caused you a lot of disappointment maybe heartbreak they're not happy themselves and i feel like you you're marrying each other in that way you're not happy, you're disappointed, you're heartbroken about what's been done to you or what has happened, and so are they. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person, Spirit, that Taurus is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? It could be that they're going to reach out to you here, Taurus, with expect a message and page of swords. What do we need to know about this person? I knew exactly what I was doing in bottom of the deck. I know I messed up everything. Okay, so you basically know that you did the wrong thing. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm picking up there. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this person? that Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? This one. Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. So this is um, either you're dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart, or this is a symbol or a, you know um, of the devil card because my sign cards or the cards that are, have a sign or a zodiac sign attached were inspired by the major arcana. So I feel like this person is in, uh, not dealing well with their own choice or what happened. Bottom of the deck, honest, 
sincere and genuine. I do feel like this person wants to be honest with you about what's happened because I do have the page of swords here. Um, and if they do come forward, it's not going to be a fun conversation because I think they're going to talk about what happened. What are their intentions towards Taurus? What are this person's intentions, true intentions, spirit, towards Taurus? What are their true intentions towards Taurus? What are their true intentions, spirit, towards Taurus? Five of Wands. Can I get one more? What are their true intentions towards Taurus or this connection? Eight of Swords reverse, the Fool reverse, and the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so what I see here with the Eight of Swords reverse and the Five of Wands, I feel like they're, they want to overcome their fear because I think the reason they haven't reached out is perhaps because of the problems between you or because they don't want more drama. Um, however, I feel like this person is going to be hesitating because there's still a third party. There is still a third party here. And so this person is almost like not really taking that risk or perhaps they're going to be really reckless about it. They don't really think about it when they actually do come forward. You know, they know they messed up everything. So I'm hoping they've learned their lesson here. What's behind the Queen of Pentacles? I'm just curious. The Emperor's reversed. Yeah, see, this is not. They really need to think about this because if they don't. If they make another mistake, I, I just don't think that this is they could come back from that. Can I get one more about this person's true intentions towards Taurus? One more spirit about this person's true intentions. Okay, four of pentacles. So I feel like this person might hold back from you, Taurus. They might hold back from you. They could be holding on to you, but I'm just not picking that up very strongly. Um, I feel like this person, you know, with cold children breathing, it's almost like they're afraid to open up 